everybody, it's your boy SB is the truckster and welcome back to another dancehall video tutorial. Now when we go over the low pass filter sweep automation inside the FL studio. We don't have it set up as yet, so we'll just walk through the whole entire process. But we want it to happen, like this is the verse. So right around 17, we have four bar before the chorus come in. So I want the filter affect the four bar before the chorus come in. So what I want to do is, me have a, our file already mixed down. So it's a little bit different for me. You might have a file where you're still a mix or whatever. So you don't want to put the filter upon your master bus. But because I already have a, a real file or mixed down already, more put it upon that specific. Now I mean, your filter, whenever you have a filter, you don't want to put the filter before any type of EQ or compression. You always want to put it after. You know what I mean? So your filter, cleaner signal instead of you do the filter and then they go in a EQ and a compressor it don't make it sound weird. So what me do typically is me to load up the love filter from FL Studio, the stock plugins multi-effect. So we have one right there. So this is what the default sound like. Okay, so what we want is this simple triangle lower pass right here. You know what I mean? That's that's the sound I want. If you listen to it, I can hear say it sound very nasty and very resonant. You know what I mean? If you look on the me title, higher than what it actually supposed to be. So the way all me combat that, right, is me load up an EQ. So the right click on the right click, but just load an EQ before the the love filter. What me do is me have a preset called master low and high pass. The the thing is, the, it's just a simple preset. There's a roll of low and high. And this is what I do automate. I'm not going to touch the love filter. The love filter is good. I'm going to automate the EQ. So what me typically do is, wherever I want the filter happen, I always want it lead into the filter. You know and I mean, so I know I want the filter happen between 17 and 21, right? Yeah, so. so what I do, do is give myself a little bit of extra room and what I do is right click and drag upon this like a black dark bar up at the top. And once I do that, right click, it gives you this like a thing where you can make a loop. So what I do is me at least go about a bar or like a step before. So I'm gonna go one whole step before 17. So that would be this line right there. So, so you know what I mean? That like a four, like a line right there. So that, that a one step before and then more go one step after 21. So that a one step after more the filter end. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna know is firstly with the EQ, notice how I have all of the points. The points I'm want is one and seven. So all of them I can turn them off. You don't have to turn them off really because you're not going to do nothing with them. We just have to turn them off just for the tutorial sake. So what you want, you want the one where I move the frequency. You know what I mean? So this is the one I want. So what I'm going to do is right click on it, create automation clip. Now when I do that, you notice so it create automation clip, the length of the exact thing where we highlight. That's exactly what you want it. And then what I do now is right click on it again. Um, Not there. Or right click on the other one and we'll create automation clip again. So now, this is where things for me kind of get tricky. I always typically like to filter out to about, about like, what I say around, anywhere from four to 500, depending upon the type of rhythm. So I'm going to play this and see what sound good for me right now. So let's, let me take out the, the low pass right now and see. As you can see, we have the automation. So once we play it, jump back out. So I'll turn them off real quick so we can just analyze and see what's going All right, so we have that. That sound good, it sound clean. Still, I get a little bit of the, the mid range that come through. So, we'll turn on the filter now. All right, so you can hear that it sounds very, very nasty, you know what I mean? So what I do is I go into the filter itself, and you probably want to just adjust the resonance a little bit. So let's let's try the filter again. That sounds a lot better. Sounds a lot better. It's not as harsh on the ears, and that's exactly what I want. So now we have that set up. What I do now is, like I said, we like filter out around to. So wherever you, wherever you get the, the top number, the, the seventh one, and it sound good, you would right click on that now and copy that 
value, right? Now, when you go back into the, the automation inside of the playlist now, you don't paste that value here exactly where you want it to start. So if you want the, the filter to start at 17, all that do is just right click, get a little point, right click upon the point, and then paste the value. So now, if you look upon the, the, the EQ, notice how it, it's scaled down. You know what I mean? And we don't automate it if you slowly, slowly slide back up as we are come out of the filter. So now, what you want to do is copy the first point because remember, that is going to be the end point and you don't pierce it towards the end right there. So, so we don't pierce it here. You know what I mean? Really, you can just drag a point there, it not really matter. Now, what we do is scale this down. So we want this if it's sound as natural coming out of the filter as we are going in of the filter. It's, it's simple. It might seem difficult, but it's simple. We're just a copy and paste. So now if we bring up this, uh, what we want to do as well is, because we don't want the high pass, this, the, the high pass, like if we take off this, so if you delete this, like this, boom. Watch out. The whole rhythm might get affected, you know what I mean? So how, how we do that? What we do? Simple. Remember, say, we have the filter. We can automate anything in our FL Studio. So we'll automate the power button right there, so right? Or even we'll automate the mix button. So what we'll do is right click on it, create automation clip. We can make it the whole track, you know what I mean? It's better if you make it for the whole track because you don't want the, the automation nowhere else but in a, this specific section right there. So, so what we'll do is we'll bring down the value at the two points, the start and the end point to zero. And notice once you do that, the you know, the, the thing I come down all the way. So I'll bring it all the way to zero. Cool. So now it's completely off. No filter. You know what I mean? Now, what we do when we come to where we want the filter, do right click about a bar out from where we want it to start. And we don't make it come in like that. We don't make it go out the same way. So we'll do something like that. Or we'll do something like that. So now if you come here, so. You know what I mean? Cool. We can make it start even earlier than that. We just kind of like it. Dear save me. Take this point here, son, and drag this back across. We can make the filter start a little bit out. You know what I mean? That sounds good. So we left it. So now, what we want to do, like me say, we do make the sharp so it cut off completely. So we have the EQ set for feedback out. We have the, the low frequency set for steer right about 30. So we have filled out anything at 30. So now if you watch them while the whole thing are up, automation and all, you have the low pass filter sweep automation. Let me detach this so it's on top of the mixer. And this is it. So I'll play it from a, a good, like a bar out. Bring about the file on the high pass. All right. You know what I mean? So that kind of sound weird coming in in at the chorus. So what I'll do is bring copy the value here, bring this back, and then we'll bring this across. So now we'll have it fade out right in time for the chorus. So I'll paste this back at 100. We'll have it fade out right in time for the chorus. We'll put another point right there so, so we can completely turn off the filter. And here, this is good. There's no problem with this. Um, another thing, we don't have to automate the power for this as well because you know what? When the filter done, it's still on. But like I said, once the filter done, if I can look at the automation, right? You see, say once the filter done and it reached back the chorus, everything is typical. Um, so you don't really have to automate the power button for the EQ. So now if you play it now. You know what I mean? And we could have do it to where we like have the, the filter like completely cut off or back to normal before we reach the chorus like this. And another way we would have to turn off this same way, so. You know what I mean? So we get like a nice like a transition into the chorus. And that's pretty much all you do. Let like me say, it's really simple. All you do is just, just automate. And remember, you can automate anything inside of FL Studio. So from the top. I 
I mean, simple like that. So until next time, it's the boys. Be the truck star. Peace.